This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 8. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, and powerful name of his only begotten Son, who is the Savior of the nation of Israel. Starting off with the elect within the nation of Israel, and Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, as well as your Israelite foreigners scattered abroad that may look like the nations where you've been scattered to, but are Israelites. And I also want to give them honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing out this word in all sincerity and in truth. All right, this is the brother you call from the GMS branch out in Des Moines, Iowa, coming back at you with another lesson inspired by the Holy Spirit, Haber Kakwadash. And um, I wanted to start off with that precept, all right, because it ties into the topic of this lesson, uh, going into giving or having a true uh, giving mentality. When the Spirit has had me uh, read a book called The Go-Giver, all right, by uh, Bob Berg and John David Mann, all right, and it's, uh, it pretty much goes into uh, like five key concepts to have a, a, a successful uh, business. And in this book, they highlight the importance of, of giving. And, you know, growing up in this society, all right, in our culture, you know, it's a, it's a real dog-eat-dog -dog mentality. And, you know, it's not a true compassion that a lot of people have to give, all right? Or if they do give, it's grudgingly, all right? Or if it's uh, if something is given, whether it's uh, money or time or whatever the case may be, all right, there's a... There's a mindset of if I'm not getting something back instantly, then I don't want to give. All right. I'm not going to do it. You know, and it's uh, it can, it can in, in our culture it can cause like a lot of um, what's the word? Um, eh, just just bitterness and, and, and so on and so forth. Right. But coming into this faith. All right. We we have to come into uh, a compassionate, a compassion or right, one towards another. To be willing to invest all right, in one another uh, spiritually um, in various different ways, whether it be financially, whether it just be investing time all right, into one another to forward each other's uh, spiritual growth or help each other out in our situations. Even if we don't see from a carnal sense an immediate all right, um, reward for that. OK, you might be able to uh, uh, give a brother some bread. All right. And that brother might not be able to pay you back but even though you know that brother won't pay you back you have a trust uh in faith that yeah how about shimmy i was shy all right will reward you spiritually okay even though you might not see that that carnal reward uh right there in that instant and that's really what i want to highlight all right in that uh in this lesson through the spirit that's how the lord uh sees these things and we got to have that true compassion for one another to be willing to give and not have that stingy mentality all right <laughs> that real stingy mentality of not willing to to uh, to give those sacrifices for one another. All right. So without further ado, let's grab a few precepts. All right. Uh, this is the book of um. This is the book of Sirach, chapter twelve, and verse two. All right. Just bear with me. All right. Sirach twelve and two. It says, "Do good to the godly man, and thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him." yet from the most high. So, right, you might do good to a brother, all right, and um, that brother might not be able to recompense you, all right, in some way that may seem profitable for you at that time, but know that what's going to happen, man, that what, if you don't get recompensed from that brother, then Yahweh will recompense you somehow, some way, man. All right, we have to have faith and trust in that. And even in this book, I'm going to go ahead and grab a quote. All right, from out of the book. And this is on uh, page, page 64. It says, uh, Pender spoke up. It says, because if you, because if you place the other person's interest first, your interest will always be taken care of, always. Some people call it enlightened self-interest. Watch out for what other people need with the faith that when you do, when you do, You'll get what you need. And the scriptures highlight this concept. Okay, so when you invest, 
all right, within brothers, when you invest within this ministry and this brotherhood and you're having that that willing, that giving mentality, he sees those things and he'll make sure that you are taken care of, all right? He'll make sure that your needs are uh, taken care of, man. But if you have a mentality of where you're not willing to, to give, all right, and you're kind of stingy or whatever the case may be, all right, then you won't receive a lot, all right, as we're going to grab in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, man, all right? But before we get before we grab that, let's finish on this. All right. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12 and verse four. It says, give to the godly man. Uh, or verse two, it says, do good to the godly man and thou shalt find a recompense. And if not from him, yet from the most high, there can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms. So if you aren't willing to give, there can't be any good that comes unto you, man. All right. So just like we read in that uh, in that Matthew. All right. Starting off with. It says, freely have you received and freely give. So we've been given this gift of faith freely. All right. The Lord wants to have that, wants us to have that same mentality of freely giving. All right. Sowing, all right, to the brotherhood, sowing uh, to the spirit and so on and so forth, man. All right. So let's grab the book of uh, Proverbs 19 and 7. And I'm going to just go through a few precepts on this topic. All right. I'm not going to draw it out. Lord's will, but Proverbs 19 and uh, 17, it says, uh, he that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord and that which he hath given, will he pay him again? All right. So given amongst his body, amongst the brotherhood, all right, uh, uh, the believers, all right, because that's who the poor is. Uh, Yahweh Shai, he even uh, uh, turned to the disciples and one instance, and he said, bless be ye poor. For yours is the kingdom of heaven, roughly paraphrasing. So the believers are those that are poor, meek, lowly, right? And even brothers, uh, majority of brothers may be in a financial situ uh, situation where they're, they're actually uh, 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 poor, all right? And ultimately, we all are in that estate, all right? Nobody's sitting on, <laughs> sitting, uh, sitting like the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, man. But the point being, is that what? All right, blessing, all right, lending unto the poor, all right, the Lord is going to pay you back, man. So when we do these things, we have to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, sees these things and, and he will reward us, all right? The scripture says in the book of Galatians, the sixth chapter, it says the most high is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So there's times where that stingy demon may hop on you, all right? And you might have the resources or whatever the case may be to be, uh, to be able to help a brother. But because of that old man, all right, and that old stingy mentality in black culture, you don't want to give up those things because you feel like you lose them. But in reality, you gain them the more, man. All right. You're gaining the more, man. Hey, like the saying goes, uh, uh, it is better to give than to receive. I believe, as a matter of fact. All right. This is the book of uh, uh, Acts chapter 20 and 35. It says, I sh I've. I have showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Yahweh Shai, how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. All right. So it's more of a blessing to give. All right. To invest in the brotherhood, to invest in the spirit and in, in whatever way that you can. man. it doesn't have to just be financially. All right. But in whatever, uh, whatever way you can, man, look at the things that we do within the brotherhood as an investment. All right. That you'll receive a return on. All right. And once again, it might not be directly from that brother, but yeah, how about Shimei was shy season, man? All right. Then next thing you know, money ends up just in your bank account or you come into different uh, situations where uh, you may need help and you don't see a way out. And then the Lord makes a way out and provides for you. All right. And that comes from what? From you uh, sowing. All right. From you sowing in the spirit, you being willing to give and so on and so forth. And the Lord. All right. Make sure that you're taken care of, man. Okay, so we want to keep this uh, keep this in mind. But Proverbs 19 and 7 and 17, one, one more time, it says, He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which, which he hath given, will he pay him again? So if we believe that the Lord is not a man, that he shall lie, all right, when it comes down to, uh, to giving to one to another, we should know that, hey, the Lord is going to look out, man, all right? Because, hey, as the scripture says, This is the book of First uh, John chapter 3 and verse uh, uh, 16. It says, Hereby perceive we the love of the Most High, because he laid down his life for us, 
and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. All right. So this is the mentality that we ought to have, man, being willing to lay down our lives for one another as Yahweh Shai laid down his life for us. But whoso hath this world's good and seeth his brother have need and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of the Most High in him? That's right. So that stingy demon hops, hops on you, man, or whatever the case may be, you know. All right. It says, how can you, uh, uh, well, it says, verse, uh, I'm going to read it one more time. So like you says, but whoso had this world's good and seeth his brother have need and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of the most high in him? So you can't say that you love the most high, but yet you see your brother in need and in help. All right. And you shut up your bowels of compassion to help that brother. All right. So we don't want to uh, seep into this mindset, man. It says, uh, I mean, that's the mindset of the world, man. It says, my little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. That's right, man. So we want to show these things in our actions, in our actions, man. All right. But let me go back to what uh, that was it on Proverbs. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into that second Corinthians. I keep uh, thinking about it. Let's go ahead. Good time to hit it. This is the book of second Corinthians chapter nine and verse six. It says, but this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So if you have that that mentality to, to sow a lot, all right, to give a lot, all right, to have that good compassion and so on and so forth, the uh, being willing uh, to distribute as the scripture says, man, all right, the Lord sees that and he'll reward you for it. It says, um, it says, um, but this I say, he would sow sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he would sow bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for the most high loveth the cheerful giver. So right, we shouldn't do these things grudgingly. Like, damn, I gotta I gotta give this, I gotta give that, man. I'm tired of giving. Nah, man, the Lord says he loves a, a, a cheerful, a cheerful giver, man. So it's not only about giving, but it's giving with the right attitude, the right mindset, man. All right, having a true, genuine love for one another to be, to to want to give, man. It says, uh, every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for the Most High loveth the cheerful giver. And the Most High is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. So having that mentality, the Lord will make sure that you, that you have everything that you need, man. All right, so that you continue to push forth the word and, and so on and so forth, man. All right, that your household is taken care of, all that, man. So the Lord sees these things. So it's not, it's not like you're sowing uh, in vain, all right, or that you are reaping a benefit from these things, man. Once again, it's not about getting that uh, instant gratification, all right, but you got to have a mindset of delayed gratification because at times you don't see all right, a benefit in giving in particular instances, man, you know, but you got to know that, hey, we're sowing to the spirit, right? And the Lord is seeing all these things, man, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and end it off with these last two. All right, this is the book of Malachi, chapter three and verse eight. It says, will, will a man rob Yahweh? Yet ye have robbed me. But you say, wherein have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. So even a part of this ministry, our tithes is a part of it. And that's not something that we we harp on every lesson. They make sure you pat, you get you, you give your tithes and this and that and the third, right? But it is a part of a, a, a what we should be doing, man. All right, if you believe you should, you should be a, uh, uh, showing tithes, man. But right, like it says, it says, uh, uh, verse nine, ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. So, just bringing this out to show you that the Lord's like, look, prove me, all right. Give me your tithes like it's been commanded and see if I don't uh, pour you out a blessing, man. All right. See if I don't uh, uh, take care of you. All right. And so on and so forth, man. All right. So the Lord really want it's like the Lord gives out a challenge, man. But this is to show you that all those things uh, come around, man. All those things come back around. And actually, the spirit reminded me of another uh, precept. All right. Which I just read. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Talks about the first fruit of thy increase. All right. 
right. Let me just look it up real quick. Just bear with me. I know it's in the book of Proverbs. All right, this is Proverbs chapter three and verse nine. It says, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all thine increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. So that's right. So here it is. It's the same concept, man. All right. Knowing that having faith that look, if you sowing, all right, and whatever capacity, once again, like I mentioned, it's not just a. Uh, 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 it's not limited to finance, finances or whatever the case may be. You might be sowing your time. All right. Uh, 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 whatever, any type of resources that you're given. All right. Uh, to the body for the believers and so on and so forth. The Lord is seeing all those things, man. All right. And the Lord will make sure that that you're sustained and taken care of, man. But I just want to speak on those few things, man. Lord's will, that was edifying. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwarash. Give honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hope of the elect. Pushing out this word in all sincerity and the truth. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.